today we've got a driver head-to-head -head comparison. We're using Skylar's Gamer against the new Ping G425 Max and the new TaylorMade Stealth. Skylar will hit the shots, provide her feedback. Let's we'll see what TrackMan tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Skylar Kistler, a sales associate here at Second Swing Minnetonka. And a fun one for Skylar in particular mm -hmm. today, because we've got her gamer driver, a Mizuno STX, and we're going to do a comparison with the Ping G425 Max and the TaylorMade Stealth. So, Skylar, first tell me about kind of why you decided on Mizuno STX, mm -hmm. what you like about that, and then uh, from there we'll talk about these other two heads. Yeah, so I was in the market for a new driver at the end of last season. I had had actually had a Mizuno before this, okay. uh, the JPX 900, so okay. it was a couple years yep. old. And Jackie fit me into this, and I really liked the fact that it was kind of the more draw bias version of it, and sure. I can also set it upright because um, my tendency is to the right. And then I really like the shaft that's in it, the Riptide shaft. Yeah. Um, it just feels so easy to hit, mm -hmm. so I just like the shaft and head combination in the Mizuno. Sure. Okay, so uh, just for the sake of testing and you know the most optimization possible, uh, we've got the Ping G425 Max and the Stealth here, mm -hmm. and kind of their stock regular flex shafts. So, um, and what you know about these two club heads, you know, the Stealth is a little bit newer, but G425 Max also very prevalent in 2021. But um, what do you like about these two, and you know, what do you think maybe they could challenge, you know, with the STX here? Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I like with the Ping is. That most people know it's they're known for their forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, I also like the swing weight in the back, so it's more versatile for a lot of people. Yep. You get the forgiveness, but you can also set it up for neutral draw or fade. Um, and I like that, so I can sure. get the forgiveness, but as well as getting that draw bias. And with the stealth, I like the fact that the few times I have hit it, um, it had some really good ball speed numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be interesting to see kind of how they compare. And I also like the Ventus shaft. I've hit have that shaft in my three wood. Okay. And I like the feel of that too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's all gotten really good feedback. And so um, what we're going to do, we're just going to have, you know, you can do head to head testing with all of them. We'll give your feedback. Um, and uh, ultimately we're going to see really if any of these can challenge your mm -hmm. gamer. So we'll do put them in the standard lot, loft and lie combination. And uh, again, see what our track man here tells us. Let's do it. It's a little right. Not oh, wow, though. that worked, though. Probably a good reason why you were fitting into that driver. Yeah. And even after, you know, because we made that adjustment to bring it back, because you have it usually a little bit upright. Yeah, and usually have it. For the sake of it. the test, we have it back on standard, but. Mm -hmm. I think with this one, Jackie, when she fit me, she set it a degree up, so I think it's at 11 and a half mm -hmm. and upright. I think okay. that's kind yeah. of the so setting. So we may, might see a tendency to go a little bit right, just mm -hmm. based on these standard settings, but uh, that's a good starting point, though. All right, so let's, uh, well, first, I mean, Skylar, again, you've been hitting this driver all year, so, I mean, you've probably given the same feedback mm -hmm. to anybody that asks you about your driver, but um, looking at setup, looking at feel, what are your favorite things about that driver? Um, I like the feel of the shaft. Um, it just feels right. I don't know if it's because I hit a Mizuno before this, too, and I'm just mm -hmm. used to the way a Mizuno okay. feels. So looking at this map, I think, you know, we, we kind of are doing, you know, hit six and take one out. I think this is kind of the one that we'll probably take out, right? This last one here. So we go like that. You can see how that circle gets a lot better. You got basically a five year six or in the fairway. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in terms of total, you had this one was really good. I think this might have been actually your first yeah, one. Yeah, I think that was my first yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> first one. You had a 225 right in the middle of the fairway practically. So, um, and these are kind of the, the baseline numbers we've got to work with here on the right. You know, smash at 146, that's pretty darn good. Spin in that 2700 range for someone of your speed is pr probably about right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're averaging 206 total, about 175 carry. And again, I don't think those were your best swings, mm -hmm. right? But uh, five in the fairway. So uh, with that said now, I know, you know, the, the, the curiosity here is testing that against something uh, of, you know, Ping G425 or TaylorMade Stealth, perhaps two more popular drivers yeah. in 2022 than, than Mizuno STX. But um, one of the things too, and you know, I don't know how much you've swung or, or hit the, you know, the Alta CB 
mm -hmm. uh, from Ping to counterbalance. Uh, do you have any thoughts on this? Or maybe in, in talking with golfers and maybe your own experience, what do you think or what do you, you know, anticipate seeing in the test here from mm -hmm. this? So actually, driver-wise, I haven't hit it a ton, but I actually was kind of debating between the Ping fairway wood and my tailor-made fairway okay. wood. So I've hit that shaft yeah, in, in the fairway, fairway wood. Okay. And I liked it. I was, it was really close between okay. the two. So. Okay. Yeah, and then, you know, as, as you said earlier, the G425 Max is always it's known for its forgiveness mm -hmm. and stability. So we'll see how that stacks up here. That sound is so different. Yeah, that sounds crazy, actually. It's a good performance, though. One thing I'm interested in, too, is I know we've, in testing with both Jackie and Thomas, um, they've noticed swing speed differences mm -hmm. with G425 Max. Different head weight, different kind of uh, swing weight based on the counterbalance that they do with the, the shaft as well. So curious to see if that differs at all from your gamer. Well, that's two swings that you've been able to turn it over a lot easier. You're kind of getting that a yeah, little more true. correction to the left. Yeah, my tendency is usually Out high to the right. into the right, so it is a little, it is a different feel. Mm -hmm. Oops. So, now six with the G425 Max. Uh, first, give me your thoughts on that sound and that feel, because it's definitely a different sound from my vantage point than that. Yeah, STX. it's actually almost, not that it scared me the first shot, <laughs> but it was so drastic, caught it caught me off guard. Yeah. Um, so, the I was curious about the speed difference. There basically isn't one uh, between the two drivers. You're actually a little bit, slightly more efficient with the STX, and we can actually take Actually, we'll take this out here as probably as your uh, outlier, so to speak. So we can kind of go like that. And we can see efficiency-wise, pretty similar. You know, you swung actually a little bit faster with the G425 Max. And so that generated a little bit more ball speed. But overall, very efficient with both drivers at 146. Uh, interesting that it seemed like you're launching the G425 Max quite a bit higher. Mm -hmm. And that generated uh, a little bit more carry distance because of that and actually had less spin. But one thing, Though on the other the flip side of things is your dispersion was a lot wider with the G425 Max. You had some left, you had some right. With your gamer, it's kind of a more consistent, mm -hmm. you know, you're in the middle or you're a little bit right. So there's kind of the, the benefits and, and disadvantages to each driver so far. Yeah. Um, so, and look, another thing uh, I know that golfers are always interested in. How about the G425 Max look? Yeah, I mean, I like the solid black head as the turbulators. Mm -hmm. um, they don't bother me. I know some people they do, mm -hmm. um, especially when I'm talking to people on the floor. Um, that's one thing that they just don't like the look of the ping. But I'm, I'm more focused on the ball. I'm not yeah. really looking at the top of the head. So it could be through, any type of design, color, anything, and you're yeah, just, on, you know, <laughs> let me get, put it, this thing in the fairway for me. Exactly. So the, honestly, design of the head does not bother me too much. It does have a different sound. But I think I was able to turn it over a little bit more. But yeah, there's. I, I don't think that's unusual. It seems like that's for people. Um, it's for whatever reason it's able to. You're able to kind of get through the ball a little bit more efficiently with that. But uh, we, as you can see from the map, it does kind of expand. Perhaps if you are mm -hmm. someone that kind of goes right a little bit, can expand your dispersion a little mm -hmm. bit. But all right. So now we got the 2022 driver, the Stealth, uh, in that regular Ventus shaft. So. Uh, we'll test and see if this can also challenge the STX. Oh, that was hit really well. Wow. Got a bunch of ball speed on that one. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so Skylar, you've hit now the Stealth. What do you think about that? Maybe comparing it to the G425 Max and the STX. You know, what do you what do you feel? What do you see? And what do you think of the performance? I mean, it, it's I like the sound of it a lot better than the Ping. Um, it's definitely a smaller club head too. Okay. Um, kind of has that tell. smaller appearance that address you're saying? Yeah, it does. Um, I don't know if they're the same CCs, but I like the look of a. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just catches my eye a little bit more. Okay. Um, I think I was probably, it felt 
similar to what I play now. Yeah. I think it's just because I play more of a draw bias club that that helps a little bit. Um, sure. But I think if I hit like the HD version of this yeah. and then turned mine back to like an upright, sure. that would help with the right, but it feels good. It does. I like the mm -hmm. sound so and feel of it. I took your, we, we kind of did with each driver, right? You have five out of your six shots and then mm -hmm. delete, remove this one here. So this is kind of the new circle. And you can see uh, how things, you know, I mean, shape up a little bit. You swung the stealth actually a little bit faster. Did you feel like you swung it a little faster? I mean, that's a very small difference, but did you feel like it was easier to swing a little bit or no? I think what I was trying to do is I was really trying to focus on getting my hips involved a little bit more. Um, Okay. Just to help with some of my miss hits, because that's generally I tend to swing a lot of arms. Mm -hmm. and okay. Because it's involved, interesting because so. you did you swung it a little bit faster, right? Mm -hmm. uh, ball speed went up because of that, very, very, very slightly. But that you know, smash factor was actually not as efficient as the other two drivers. And then you know we saw spin was lower. We saw actually that kind of helped your carry in total distance. You actually hit the stealth the furthest mm -hmm. on average of all of them. Uh, I. You know, the spin being that low, you know, I think we had one of them was, you know, in that low 2000s range. You had this one here was really that low spinner at was kind of the gear effect one, which kind of has that number way down. But so and there's interesting because it's kind of it, it, it's a similar map to that that STX mm -hmm. um, where you had that kind of your you got either the middle or the right. You got these four that are really close to each other, actually. Um, yeah. And as you've said before, if you were to you know, I mean, in your game where you actually have an adjusted upright and a little bit more loft. So uh, in a fitting and, you know, and again, I'm not a fitter, I'm not going to fit you for the driver, but that's what would be the adjustment. So now having all this information here, Skylar, do you think a stealth is something you'll consider? Are you going to stick with the STX? What are you thinking? You know, I definitely want to try the high draw version of the stealth yeah. and compare it to what I have and see, I do think, um, ball speed i probably will see more with yeah. the stealth um but it'd be interesting to see with mm -hmm. mine set up in an upright higher loft to hit the compare yeah with the high draw version of yeah because I, I will say mizuno has done quite a bit with their drivers the last few years mm -hmm. and yet you see that with the stz stx that they released in 2021 a lot of good performance there and i think yeah. i mean you would know it's it's in your bag but mm -hmm. um and then it's Interesting to see stealth. You gain some speed. That dispersion, you obviously, I think a little bit more of these guys on the right, whereas you had some more kind of center ones with the STX. So interesting. Maybe that's a future video where we kind of bring in some of these, you know, the newer draw bias ones. We can go stealth HD. We can go rogue ST Max D. Bring some of these in and, and do that draw bias test and maybe throw your gamer as well mm -hmm. in there. But I think. You can see some of the reasons why Stealth is getting this hype and G425 Max is getting that hype as well. But uh, it looks like for you, STX, uh, I mean, that's the, that's the common question that all the fitters ask is, which circle do you like best? And I think, mm -hmm. to me, it's either this white gamer that you're playing or it's the Stealth, depending on if you're really after the distance or you know, if you're after the accuracy. Yeah. I mean, I like the Stealth one just because yeah. it's... It's further. a little bit further up. There is a little bit more of this right tendency too, I think, yeah. than you're showing. So, but honestly, I would go with any of the shots or yeah. any of the drivers. I mean, we're talking a couple yards in between them, right. so that'd be something I would really have to think about mm -hmm. for a future purchase. Yeah. Well, I think you know, as we've alluded to several times, all three of these drivers are excellent, and the nice thing about them is that they're all available at Second Swing. So, mm -hmm. at, and, and Second Swing stores online at SecondSwing.com. Uh, golfers can come in and get fit by one of our experts or talk to uh, one of our sales associates like Skylar here and they'll help you out and find a driver that's right for your game and will help you hit longer and straighter tee shots. So Skylar, thanks for joining, hitting all the, the shots today, giving your feedback. Again, three really good drivers that are out there uh, from 2021 or 2022 for golfers. A lot of performance packed in these three models.